Who's your favourite UK artist? I like Shaka. Who? Shaka. Oh, who? Bruce was a figure who gave a voice to the masses back yes. in the day. Do you think there's any current figures are doing the same right now? Oh, that's a good question. Go on, you go. Nipsey Hussle. I think he spoke to, no, no, in all seriousness. Yeah. It's funny because it's going from like yeah. Bruce Springsteen to Nipsey Hussle, but he spoke to, you know, he done a lot for his community. You know, he rapped about real issues that are going on today. Yeah. And I think just like Springsteen, you know, they're completely different genres, but they're speaking to complete different generations from different countries, different cultures, and it's just timeless. I, just, I used to listen to like loads of American music when I was younger, but now to like have all these UK people and these UK artists um, like thriving, yeah. Um, it's amazing. Who's your favourite UK artist? I like Shaka. Who? Shaka. Oh, who? Do you know Shaka? I don't Shaka. know Shaka. Who? Shaka. Who? <laughs> Shaka. What songs he done? Um, P? Lots. Oh, I, oh, I know that one. You know lots of them? That's not a song. I just said he did lots of songs. <laughs> you muppet. Uh, <laughs> Javid is fighting with this idea of only living for his parents' vision of success. Um, to pursue a creative career, have you guys ever faced any opposition yourselves? A generation ago, even a couple of years ago, this was like not a thing where people that look like me could be actors. Mm. Um, people look like us could be actors. Um, so it's a very great privilege to be in that position where like we can do this as a job and we can like talk to you and say hello and like talk about our film that's out with like posters of a brown face on the tubes. Like, do you I know, know what I mean? Know, I, know cool. what, I definitely yeah. think we've evolved like from where we was about five years ago, but we still got a long way to go. Um, and I think that's a duty that we've got as the next generation to mm. create them opportunities and, 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 and use our platform to bring the, you know, our generation and generations after us up. Yeah. Yeah, it's so refreshing to just it see It starts with us. Exactly. exactly. exactly yeah. That's why I'm, after this, I'm going to direct an all Caucasian production of East is East. <laughs> 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 Javid's sister says, you should listen to our music rather than theirs. Mm. What music did you listen to growing up as a form of rebellion? What was the first one you got, first album? Mine was flipping, um, well, no disrespect to this artist at all. Um, <laughs> mine was, I think my first one was Plan B. Actually, no, Plan B was the good one. Plan B was really great, actually. I really liked Plan B. But then, like, it had too much swearing in it, so, like, I had to, like, <laughs> return it to HMV. And, like, <laughs> bought, and then bought, like, B.O.B. Remember B.O.B.? B.O.B was classic. Yeah, it was, it was great. Great. The hairstyles and the clothes were amazing back in the days. Is there any 80 trends, 80s trends which you think should make a comeback? What shouldn't make a comeback is the tight jeans. <laughs> <laughs> they got me a jeans. They were. They got yeah. you know we did the fittings. My jeans didn't look that tight because they're really tight, like up here, crotch area, all that. But they sort of like flared out a little bit. It's all like boot cuts. Yeah. But then, but I was like, I think it's a British politeness to be like, yeah, it's fine, even if they're a little bit too tight. <laughs> I didn't realise I'll be having to tuck like a t-shirt in and then another denim oh, shirt oh, and then, like half a denim jacket. I'm like, like, sweat just thinking about Mate, it. Mate, I was, yeah, that shouldn't. The worst thing was, yeah, when we done the fitting, I was like, yeah, it's all good. Like, it was mm. quite like, it was very tightly fitted, but I didn't think like I'm going to be sitting down and it's going to be like, squashing <laughs> everything. Uh, and, and, and then we're, we're going to be running and sprinting down the, like, up you hill as well. You bug on as well, so it's on your, a, a yeah, buggy is like a, a turban. Yeah. Yeah, I had that one. So <laughs> my, translate. My, hair, <laughs> my hair was sweating. My, you know, I, I was wearing a t-shirt, a shirt, and a leather jacket. So I, my body was sweating. That was sweating, and yeah, no, it, it just went. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my legs, everything. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gut, I'm talking about my feet, man. I can imagine performing those numbers in those outfits was a bit stressful to say yes. the least. Just like Javid um, might be told that he's got to make a difference with his writing and he can change the world, what advice would you give to anyone who's thinking about maybe giving up their dream? Giving up their dream? Um, do it, I'm just joking. <laughs> um, Don't listen to him. No, um, um, uh, try and stick with it as best as you can. I think it helps to uh, to try and genuinely try and be around people that have the same interests. So like, if you're like a young person, you want to act like, go and like audition for like the National Youth Theatre or your local theatre or something or like, but just to be in circumstances and be around people that want the same thing that you do um, 
is a, something that's important. Javid and Roops bond over their love for Bruce in the film. What other interests have brought you together on set? You know what's so weird? We're like really different. <laughs> we are so different. Like, me and Aaron could not be more different. <laughs> you know what I mean? I hate this guy so much. Like, working, on, working with him is just a nightmare. <laughs> Oh, God, I, such a diva. I like. just joked. <laughs> anyway, when we met with the real guys, Safraz and Amolo, them two are very different, and it was like the one glue that they had after all of these years. You know, they're, they're very different. They have different careers. They've gone into different fields. They've got different friendship groups. But like after all of these years, they're still best friends, and their one glue is is Springsteen. Mm. And I think in a way, not to the same extent, but if it wasn't for Springsteen's music, then this film wouldn't be wouldn't be happening and, yeah. and I don't think we we would have met.